Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. Told y'all. We told y'all. This one here is a Roger Krieger shirt who's there at the backyard tomorrow. And uh, I contemplated cutting the sleeves out because it's like I don't even really feel like I have any on. You could cut it's kind those of tight. Out. And actually, I threw this on and stretched it out before before I made that comment yesterday. <laughs> and it was a little more tighter than it was back then. Well, this is my favorite sublimation shirt we ever created. And we created it. Chris created it, me and Gerald. He did all the artwork, but it was our championship belt because we ain't lost in a long time. Softball, as you can see. Had my number on there. Yeah, that was a cool shirt. This is probably my favorite of all the shirts. And thank you to everybody for yesterday's shout outs. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, that 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 and the Godfather one. I like the Godfather one too because it had Man, the same kind of stuff like in the it. One you did the very, our very first one with the purple gorilla. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was good. Now black and red, black <laughs> and red. So yesterday when we were talking about shirts, right, a topic popped in my head that I brought up the other day while while driving down the road. Okay, there are super talented artists. Correct. Musical, any kind, acting, whatever. But let's go with music. Musical. <clears throat> what makes, and and some of these have some answers. What made Elvis Elvis? I know he he, he bridged the gap and kind of broke some barriers down. What made Michael Jackson? You know, other than just kind of being. And I know he wrote good music, and you you got Prince. And George Strait, is George Strait, does he sound any better than a Cody Johnson? Does he, what do you think makes these people mega superstars? Somebody else. <clears throat> I think their, Colonel, I think it's Colonel Sanders or Colonel whatever with Sun Records made Elvis. Uh, Joe Jackson made the Jackson Five. They have the ability, but not, right? I can't say the work ethic because George played and. But I, but you can't take, but you can't take. Uh, the Colonel and go. He did Elvis. Well, why didn't he do the next guy? Why didn't the guy that created in or Backstreet Boys do another one? Why didn't? Well, he did. He did in sync. He had both of them, little fat jet plane guy. But at some point, they go. All right, dude, you made me, but like they did. They they redid their contract to where I think it's a deal of once your money comes in, once your pony's riding, ain't no sense to go get you another pony. I'm going to make you an action star. We've made seven movies, and, man, they're doing good. I think I'm going to do number eight. So do you think it has to has to do it, – it's, it's luck that I crossed paths with you who went – I'm gonna make you a star. Uh, Link letter with with uh, Matthew McConaughey. What are you doing tomorrow? Come down. I got a movie. I want you to be in. I don't think it's luck, cause I I don't believe in luck. I think it's fate. I think it's reasoning. I think you just no different than you crossing my path. Uh, you just at that point, if Matthew does not go that next day and want to be an actor. Or just go, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. We don't have no Matthew McConaughey. Which, he didn't want to be an actor. That's what I'm saying. He wanted to make films. He didn't want to act. So, I think it's a deal of... You met Chris? Man, I need you to be an actor. Man, I really don't want to do that. Come on, dude. And then when it hits, and somebody goes, Dude, I saw you. you damn good. You'd be like, you know what? Yeah. I'll give you I a, a story I that I heard. It. Ed Sharon. Right? Ed Sharon lived in L.A., and he said, quote, unquote, and I'll, I'll paraphrase a little, I played 300 shows in 2012. might have been 2012, 2013 or something, in L.A. Right. Some of them to no people being there. One day, Jamie Foxx heard him, put him on the foxhole on Sirius Radio. The next day, he was a megastar. Fake. You don't believe the reason deal, but it just happens. It just it's oh, I think a right time in a right place. I, I you know 
But I think there's a whole lot of people who have that op- who who get that right time and place, and well, Matthew McConaughey, and maybe didn't go to that meeting. I yeah. Or but, maybe chose the wrong person. I think your Ed, Sher- Ed Sheridan deal is the perfect story. I played 300 shows around L.A. We got talented people here that goes, man. I play. I play two nights. I play two nights a week. And Waco, why don't you pack your stuff up and go to Austin? Oh, no, no, I can't go there. Why don't you pack up stuff and go to Waxahachie? No, I don't go there. There's got to be some drive on your end that makes me want to go, dude, I, I, we got we got to, Chris, we got to, hit, we got to hook this dude up. We got to hook this, because this dude's going to go everywhere. I, I, I do go with that. I, I do think, and I have told my, my kids, Colin, go. You're young. Go. So if you have talent, if you want to be an actor, if you want to be a musician, if you want to be a painter, I don't know where painters hang out, but that's where you need to go. You need to go to the paint place. That's absolutely right. So, and work. You are, if you can't be deterred. I'm going to throw somebody on the bus right now who is a talented, talented mofo. Go ahead. I'm throwing Chris Lowe under the bus. Right now. He he missed his window. I'm throwing Chris Slow under the bus in the nineties when we said you got to get you you gotta leave. I I'll you gotta leave. He's that talented. <laughs> you gotta you gotta i I'm throwing him under the bus. Uh we can throw somebody else under the bus who finally got out from under the bus, dusted himself off and went to LA. And that's our buddy Jose. Uh, we can. He He's did independent right. films in Phoenix for ten years. Yep, or longer. Yeah, and it, in his is. in his defense, he had a son. Yeah, and he kind of didn't want to just take off. Well, at one day, he finally took off, and you can follow him, Jose Rosette, R O S E T T E. Follow him on Instagram. Oh, and that sucker's in something, every a day. photo shoot, yeah. a video game, or something every day because he's got the look. He can act, and anyway, hats off to to him for for taking that chance. And I'm only throwing a jab at Chris Lowe because we well, can. Chris was in the same boat. He we had can. just got married for the fourth or fifth time. No, I think I first back know. then. I don't even know. And had a kid and kind of had to. I had to do that. I kind of had to get my kids raised a little bit before I could take some chances. But you didn't have no talent. That's the problem. That, 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 I would have I would have watched your kids if, if <laughs> I would have watched them for you. Right. That's I know. But that's it. That's the work ethic. That's the that's the deal. That's the drive. There's we've heard the story of how Taylor Swift made it, but we've heard the story. We don't really know. Did I mean? Did it happen? I think Holly Tucker could be out with her new song out of the road. Kaylee. Mm-hmm. Was talented could be. I mean, I, I there's a lot of. I mean, <sighs> but I, I do think something you don't like. I do. I do think it's fate. I do think it's some luck, because there are people who have some resources behind them. There are some. There, there's Texas country artists that come through all the time. You go. What the hell did y'all get that big old bus? I mean, that is true. That's a good point there. But you hadn't made it. There's a good. That's a that is a super great. You know, so I I think you got to take life by the horns, and give it a shot. I, dude, you can't ever say you're too old. I can't. I I'm a true believer in that. <clears throat> you cannot ever say that. And, God, I'm the I I am the pot calling the kettle. I have a plan. Have a plan when it comes to life. Uh, I don't know how many 18-year-olds watch this, but once once you have kids, yeah, life is just, you don't live for you anymore. You have to live for them. You really do. So if you are aspiring to be something, take a few years and chase that dream. Uh-huh. If you catch it, awesome. Your kids will have a, right. a nicer car at 16. If not, then you can reel it back in. And go a little more traditional route. But once you have kids, life is over for you. I agree. If you do it right. 
if you do it right. A lot of people don't. But if you have some talent, if you have some dreams, because there's a lot, the there, there's a lot of people that don't have talent That's what I that we watch on TV. There's two of them. <laughs> but you got to have drive. We figured out a way to get two non-acting people on TV. That's me and you. Yeah. So, but but it, it, it ain't going to happen overnight, people. That's that's a good topic today. Why? Roger Krieger. He's a fun dude. That's he have what the glasses. He wear the glasses like the Buddy Holly glasses. Uh-uh. Dang. He's a dark-skinned, dark-haired guy. Uh, does all the river stuff, float the river. He's the one who sings the song, and I don't know them all, that everybody sprayed the beer at LJT, that our our Tim Murphy put his rain suit on. I'm, I'm, I'll show you the picture. I'll pull it up, and I may send it to you. You can pull it up here. All right. But it's a, a beer drinking song, and they all start spewing beer. It, it's, it's wicked funny and wicked cool that okay. he has that following that everybody knows to do that. But he found his niche. And stuck with it. <clears throat> yeah, and, you know, he's not a Nashville guy. He's making a, a really good living in Texas. And, you know, whatever. Anyway. That was actually actually a good show today, man. I thought so. But get out and watch him. I think tickets are $10 now, 15 at the door, so it's a little cheaper than, than a lot of them. And like I said, Saturday, you want to get your boot scooting on, branded heart. That's going to be a good show. I, they, I've seen them, so that's a good show. Uh, we do not do sublimation shirts, so do not ask for any. And this is all we had. So, But as far as design, ADS is our sponsor today. Yeah. They can design some cool stuff for your car. They can do our tables. all kinds of stuff. Uh, banners. They do a truck, Jeep, car accessories, all that stuff. They can put uh, eyelashes on your, on your car headlights. I've seen it done. <laughs> it has been done. I've seen it done. All right, man. Have a wonderful weekend. Get out and enjoy your weekend no matter where you are. We'll be back on Monday at the backyard. Until then, I am Russ. This is Chris. We are out.